Sometimes we do a humor master speech where we try to just make everybody laugh at the gut. And sometimes it's really cool to just tell something joyful. I'm going to tell something joyful today. I love what I call dumb grandpa jokes. I've thrown those at you sometimes here. Here's how that all started. Our youngest grandson was sitting at the table in kind of an owly mood for our family supper. And he says, I don't want to take my plate over to the cupboard. And I want to take my plate over to the cupboard. And I said, I don't want to take my plate and set it on top of the house. And he looked at me kind of funny. And I said, I don't want to take the tire off of the car and fly it to the moon. I don't want to take the salt shaker and put it on top of the fan. <laughs> Come on, it's your turn. What, did, what don't you want to do? I don't want to put my plate... I don't want to put my plate in the sink. Well, I don't want to take the stripe off of the road and put it in my hair. <laughs> he says, I don't want uh, I don't want to take my fork and stick it in the light socket. Next thing you know, our granddaughters are involved in this thing. And of course, my wife and, and my daughter are sitting over here and they're like, what in the world is this fool doing? <laughs> but the next thing you know, everybody's laughing and what? could have been the stupid disaster was actually a great time and now i'm inspired we're all coming to house and one of my granddaughters hey grandpa seven what do you mean the answer to your question is seven you don't even know my question okay the answer is six <laughs> <laughs> you can see it does it to you too right it's just it's just stupid and it brings it brings up a lightness and creativity in the heart. I learned that I can now do this in my office. I love caring for families, especially when there's a lot of little children. And sure enough, this mom was there and she's got her three, three boys and they are definitely three boys. And one of them starts to be the oldest. Let's call him Joey. Joey's in kind of a kind of a sour mode and mom's trying to correct him. And the next thing you know, he goes stomping into the bathroom and shuts the door. Finally, he comes out and then I say, you didn't wake up the gorilla in there, did you? And he says, what? I said, there's a gorilla that lives under the bench there in the bathroom. and He doesn't like being woken up from his nap. You didn't wake him up, did you? And this beautiful kid took it right up. <laughs> I flushed him down the toilet. <laughs> I says, he hates to be flushed down the toilet. You need to get in there and help him out of there. He gets his hair wet and then his eyebrows start to curl. He says, well, I ain't sticking my hand in the toilet. I said, well, if you just go in there and tell him his name is Rastus and say, Rastus, give me your hand. And he'll reach out his hand and you can pull him out. Well, you got how this went. Next thing you know, the his little siblings are standing there trying to see the gorilla in the bathroom and his mom is rolling his eye, rolling her eyes. <laughs> what happens is they laugh. Children's laugh is like angels singing. It just calms the situation. Moods are much better. And when it's time to go, I get lots of hugs. I love dumb grandpa jokes. Madam Toastmaster. <laughs>